So when I think about healthcare, when I think about what we as healthcare providers are asked to do, we're asked to give excellent care um, because everybody deserves excellent care. But one of the challenges is that we have a budget and that includes the equipment that we purchase, that includes the extras that we are able to give our patients. And sometimes there is a disconnect. The government does fund the operation of equipment and staffing, and of course, you know, the building and infrastructure. However, very importantly, they do not fund equipment purchases. Everything that you see that uh, is equipment-based is donor-funded. We have somebody who is on a ventilator. They have a lot of difficulty with communication. A communication device that includes the computer, um, the software that is able to um, make his voice, and his cell phone that can connect to that so that he is able to communicate with family members, that's not part of our base funding. It is only because of the generosity of people who are willing to donate um, that we are able to, to fill those gaps. Breast Imaging Kingston is our crown jewel. Uh, it's a newly formed outpatient imaging center dedicated to uh, breast imaging. The Rosa Hope Foundation played a, a very large role in funding various pieces of equipment. We have babies that are born too small, too sick, and sometimes born too soon. The donations are vital to ensure that the babies have the chance to grow up to be the champion. Even a small thing, like a milk warmer, which is present at the bedside for the baby, is provided by the donations. Well, without donors, I can't even imagine uh, how it would be like. Without donation and the help and support we get from them, we will not be able to do even a small thing. Our lives would be a lot more difficult. I think that our patients and our clients' quality of life would be a lot more difficult. I think that we would see a lot more moral and ethical distress in our staff. They are vital. Each dollar they give, or every time they see a, a smaller baby who has been in ICU, they should be proud that they have shared in the care of that baby. There is not one patient I have personally come into contact with who has not been blessed. And we cannot, cannot do this without you.